Dad, the houses are on fire. So I, I immediately got off my couch. I ran outside. Paul Oliveri, a retired NYPD sergeant, one of several neighbors to run into a burning row house. The men saving a disabled neighbor. She can't move. She has 24 hour care. And we carried her out to safety. The FDNY says shortly before 3 p.m., the fire started in 827 Rensselaer Avenue, likely on the first floor. Within minutes, it spread to the attached homes in the Woodrow section of Staten Island. A total of six buildings uh, eventually became involved. Fire uh, extended very quickly, mostly due to the uh, construction of the building. Richie Gargiulo, one of dozens of people now without a home. Yeah, I was sleeping. My brother woke me up. And uh, he was just getting out of the shower and uh, told me uh, the house is on fire, the house is on fire. I'm a heavy sleeper too, I won't wake up for anything. It might have saved my life, honestly. The fire reached five alarms, more than 200 firefighters responding. It's a, it's a terrible tragedy and I, I, I don't think there was fatalities, so I think that's the positive out of, out of it. The negative is these poor people have no place right now. The displaced fire victims huddling together on a frigid night salvaging what they can from their charred homes. I think my uncle painted it for my cousin, and she just got one of the firemen to go in and get it for her. It was in her bedroom. It means a lot to her, so she wanted to get it, and I'm glad she did. Witnesses described an explosion when the fire started. The FDNY says fire marshals are now investigating.